Hey everybody, so uh, interesting day today. I'm just home alone, you know, kind of bored, and I thought, if I'm bored here, I might as well do something to help my fans, all the loyal ones out there. So I was just sitting on my couch and I was like, what's something I could do that's really helpful with the upcoming Christmas holidays? And you know what? I think I got something perfect. <clears throat> so everyone's going to be eating like a massive turkey, most likely. So it's probably gonna go crazy at Christmas, right? We have like a thousand people over, they all gotta eat, we make so much food, and then guess what? We aren't that fat, hopefully, and we don't eat all of it. And uh, we end up with quite a few leftover delicious little freaking fragments of food, you know? And uh, then what do you do with it? Usually you pack it up, it goes in your fridge, and then you throw it out later because no one wants it because it's cold. And doesn't heat up good and it's grody. Um, so what we're going to do today is make use of all of those leftovers and make mega food. We're going to repurpose our leftovers to make some delicious food again. So here we go and everyone's going to be like, oh I ate too much food. I need to freaking take some home. I can't eat all of it. And then you're going to take it home and have it in your fridge. So we're going to take it out Recook it up, make it yummy, yummy, yummy. So here we go. All right, everyone, we got a nice selection here of leftovers. Number one, leftover ice cream. Look at this stuff, man. It's yummy, dude, but like, look at this. You get to a point where there's a little bit left and it gets frostbitten or frostburnt, whatever it were, just freezer burnt, whatever. And you can't eat it anymore because it's so frozen and it has those little ice shards all over it and you can't eat it. It's no good for you. I don't know if it's good for you or not, but I don't like it and I don't think it's good. I don't think you eat it. I don't know. Maybe you are. Maybe I'm not going to. But my, I don't know. Maybe I don't think I'm supposed to eat it, so I'm going to not eat it. Well, I can. I'm going to repurpose it, but you don't eat it like it is. Next, I got a nice platter here. So, as you can see, we got various things. Um, we have stale half of a cookie that we can't have right now because it's a little old. We have um, we have generic unbranded candy covered chocolate bits. We have um, unbranded sour cream packet, old from an old meal. Um, over on this side we have um, something called sriracha sauce that I don't know where that comes from. We have butter pack, some tartar sauce, and Kentucky hot sauce. Or just hot sauce, because I don't want to get in trouble. So, we have some leftovers there. It may seem a little hard to figure out, oh, all those things I have, they don't go good together. Those don't seem like they'd be that good, right? Well, that's where you're wrong, because we're going to make it good. We're going to make it really yummy. So, here's what we're going to need, everyone. First of all, yes, I know, this might be classified as cheating, but I'm going to use some bread. Let's just say this bread is old, or it's slightly going stale, or no one's going to eat it. We are going to eat this. This is still good bread. Oh, shoot. Never mind. You know what? Look at that. You see that? December 19th. I'm not cheating. This bread is freaking old, and I'm going to make use of it before it goes too bad. So, here's what we want to do. I'm going to bring you guys over to me. I'm going to chop them up into soldiers, as I like to call them. Like this. You know what? Let's only use one piece of bread. We'll come back for more bread if we need it, but right now I think one should do us just fine. So, here's a nice little example for you. Soldiers, perfectly cut. You can take all your leftovers and be like, wow, I can sure see a couple here that might go all together, but some don't. So what we're going to want to do is maybe remove one or two. But I don't like the sriracha or tartar, so I'm going to kick these off, save them for another little endeavor later on in my future. So I'm going to keep this here and put these back. Alright guys, so the next part of the video might get a little tiny bit loud. I'm going to try my best to make it so it doesn't kill your ears. But just be wary, weary of that, because it's coming up. So, next step, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a Ziploc bag here, all right? And we're going to load our Smarties into it. 
Now, sometimes you can use two packets of Smarties. It depends on your Smartiness, however much you want some Smarties in there. So I'm going to take the one package and I'll show you. That's not a lot of Smarties, eh? What are we thinking? Are we double Smartian? I think we are. We're double Smartian, boys. There we go. Two packets of Smarties in there. Now, be warned, it's about to get a little bit loud in here, alright? So, let's be careful. Now, my previous video was on how to get a date, as you all know. And this can go very well with that, because this is actually a homemade meal you can do for your date. Um, because, look at this, I'm making this, I'm not stealing this, I'm not reheating frozen food, I'm making something real. So, my personal favorite, the meat mallet. It's a little boy, so we're not going to kill anything doing this, but meat mallet's a good option. So, oh yeah, out of these three, I'm going to go with the meat mallet. Because this step requires a lot of smashing. And these are okay at it, but the meat mallet's where it's at. Smell you later, spoon. Now, make sure you're smashing on this side. Because I've smashed on this side before and it makes holes, and that's not good. Look at that. Now we have what we call Smarty Powder. Now what you gotta do is be very weary. Look at this. See this? There's some big chunks in there. We wanna pick those out. We don't want these. Look at these. Look at this pancake looking freaking thing. We don't want that thing. So this phase is very important. We now have our powder. And we're gonna start mixing our ingredients, you know. So we need our hot sauce for this phase. We're not gonna use it just yet. Um... Now this, I need to figure out a place for this cookie still. But this is kind of an improvise. We gotta improvise as we go on this. Alrighty, we got our ice cream. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna take our ice cream and scoop out a nice little spoonful here. Mix it in. Wow. And now you're thinking, where the heck is he going with this? This looks too easy. Look at this. It's just freaking... Ice cream covered with toppings. No. You don't even want to know where this is going. Boom! Bet you didn't see this one coming. We take this and we microwave this sucker. Ah! Oh, look at that! Ooh, soupy! We like it like that. Now, as quickly as you can, we want to mix this together to make a sauce. And now that we're done with that, we've used up all the ice cream. We have no more waste. And we've used up both of our packs of Smarties, no more waste. No more waste, just like that, we're eliminating waste in this world. How to save the planet 101, Greta Thunberg, where are you at? Greta Thunberg would be so proud of me right now, it's insane. Now we're making a spicy sauce, so we're gonna add our hot sauce right in. Spicy and sweet is what I like to call it. Drizzle all of it in, because we don't waste on this channel. We do not waste, we use it all. Ooh, that smells interesting. <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're at the stove top. A nice spot you guys have never seen before. You've seen the oven. We've used that sucker before in other videos, but we have never used the stove top. In my last video I said use the oven. And when I said use the oven, I mean anything connected to this sucker right here, perfect. Because look at this. This looks good, and this looks cool when you're doing it. And you know what else looks cool? Boom. That looks awesome, man. Look how good that looks. And now we're on the stove top because we're gonna be cooking our food. Put that sucker to seven, pump it up, don't burn that monkey. Yep, and then when in doubt, seven it out is what I always say because you want seven degrees. That's what it says, seven degrees. That's what the temperature is on oven. So, we're gonna touch the stove and be like, yeah, that thing's not working. It's not freaking being hot. So, we're gonna turn that one off and start the dual burner on the other side. Instantaneously, it's warmer. Because, as you can see, it's red. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's red now. So this one's actually heating up. Okay, so I'm not sure how many of you guys saw this one coming, but what we're going to do is we're going to be dipping our bread into our sauce. So we're going to dip it, make sure we spin it, and coat it fully. Dip, flip, coat. Flip, coat, what I always say. Dip, flip, coat. 
dip, flip, and coat that sucker up. We're gonna turn it down, cause that's like freaking burning hot. Okay, new thing to learn. Never put temperature above 6.5. I'm gonna do five degrees. I'm gonna do five degrees here. And I'm gonna start buttering the pan, all right? I'm gonna drop that butter in. And it's instantly burning. No, it's not, it's perfect. And we're gonna take our freaking super logs and we're gonna pop them in once we have the heat a little lower. Perfect, put it here, pop them in. Boom. 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 Good. But we're gonna keep them on the heat a little longer to make sure they get nice and cooked all the way through because we freaking drenched those suckers. So, see, that's, that's sticky, <laughs> that's not moving anywhere. And put them into the oven. You know, I'm not gonna do broil because that's insanely hot. Convect bake, 350. Pop them in. Middle rack. Let them sit there while we prepare our plating. All right guys, so now we're gonna get prepared for plating. We're gonna grab our red plate we got right here. All right folks, we got the cookie and we got our sour cream. I'm just mixing it up because it gets a little watery, you know what I mean? There's chunks in it. I don't know if that's mold or if it's seasoning. I'm not sure if these chunks I'm finding are mold or seasoning, but... They're a little wet, so I'm gonna actually put them back on the heat for a little longer. On high. I mean on seven, sorry. Always seven, no higher. Never go higher than seven. I'm gonna seven that sucker. Put it right there. Boom. We're gonna hand crumble our cookie. We could use the hammer for this, so that's a technique I would allow. Ow! Frick! So it looks nice. It smells burning now, so we're gonna turn everything off. And we're gonna transfer these to our plate. If you could smell this, I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now, because it is not nice. One. See, we cook for taste, not for smell. As you can see, they're a little bit juicy. I'm going to hold up to the camera for you. That's what they look like. That's the final product. A little flimsy. As you can see, this is what we have so far. Looks pretty. We're going to reheat our ice cream sauce we made earlier. It's not drizzling. Okay. It's a little chunkier than I thought. We're only going to drizzle in half because I want to do the experience Half sauced, half not sauced, so we're gonna sauce this half. And now, our dish is complete. We have hot ice cream, chocolate, some candy, bread sticks, toast sticks, with a ice cream sauce spicy drizzle, covered with a sour cream side with cookie crumble. And that's how you do it. I'm going to go and get you a nice, uh, I'm going to taste it for you after we let it cool down. Alright guys, uh, there you have it. That's officially the finished result of our meal. Um, now it's time where I taste it. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm a little scared. Um, but here we go. I'm going to start with some non-sauced. It smells. <clears throat> That's all I can say. I have my spit rag ready in case. No sauce. Ew. Look, my arm has goosebumps. Can you see that? My hair started to stand up on its end. Okay. Oh, I'm really bumping out. I'm not sure how to feel. It's, it's very sweet bread. I, the spice doesn't come through. Wait. It does. The spice... It hits here. The spice hits you in the back of the throat. <clears throat> it's just dull though. It's actually... Okay, I'm kind of freaking out because I thought I'd puke it up and immediately. This is a big bite. This one has everything. Sour cream sauce, 
Cookie. Let's go. See that? That's the bite to end it all. Oh god. Mmm, the sour cream is not good. <coughs> Ew. Turn up a little bit here. Sour cream is not help. Do not do the sour cream. It wasn't horrible. There's a little heat in the back of your throat, which is nice. It's a little, little growing heat. That's from the hot sauce. The ice cream is Smarties. And make it sweet. I wish I kept the Smarties a little bigger, though, because there's no crunch in there. It's just all sweet. And then the sour cream. The sour cream is frigged. Don't do the sour cream. Don't, don't freaking add that. All in all, not horrible. I made use of leftovers, so I'm pretty much saving the environment, Greta. Thank you. You can email me, Greta. I'll be there. I'll come to any of your events you need me at to help you. Um, overall, considering the circumstances, I'm going to give that... Hmm. A five ducks out of ten. Because it tastes like it tastes bad. Let's just get that straight. It's not good. But there's a little bit there. There's something there that's like I was going in a direction. There was a direction being taken there somewhere that was to something decent. The sour cream ruins it. If you bite it with sour cream, you can drop it to a two right away. But without, it's a five out of ten ducks considering the ingredients we had or exposure. Um, but in the end, I would say. Pretty good, pretty yummy. And if you make that for your date, or if you make that for your family for upcoming Christmas or anything, they're gonna be so impressed and they're probably gonna love you. Because they don't love you right now, but they might start loving you if you make them this. Or vice versa, if they already love you, I wouldn't risk it. Don't risk it if you already got love. Just take, cut your losses and take your love because they might stop loving you after this. Thanks for watching everybody. Um, love you guys. Hope you learned something today. It's important you learn. That's what my channel's all about, learning. Peace out, duckleberries.